Okay, this is Dr. Rafael Ramos, and I'm just showing everybody how to get to an online database from the Dallas College homepage. So from here we are on the Dallas College homepage. Now just scroll down until you see the word libraries. Click libraries. Okay, now we're on the libraries. Scroll down a little bit until you go down here to the find, and we're trying to find databases okay so find articles journals database okay click databases now this is overwhelming but if if you go to this side if you're not sure where to start academic search complete is a nice um all-purpose online database as subscribed from dallas college so academic search complete okay and you may need to log in just like this. So click log in. Now I'm already logged in, uh, in um, but your login would be what you'd be logging in for uh, eConnect. So I'm already logged in for the uh, Dallas College single sign-on, but if you haven't logged in for the single um, college sign-on, um, just log in as if you were logging into um, eConnect or your e Dallas College email. And once you logged in, you're also logged on, logged into this. Okay, so now we're in EBSCO host, also known as Academic Search Complete over here. And it looks a lot like Google, but it's not because what you're doing is you're logging into a database uh, of journals, um, academic articles, um, magazine articles, in which the college level uh, repu uh, reputation has already been established. So it's not like searching on the web um, on, on the web. Okay, so when you're in this box, you can put in anything you're looking for. Let's say there's one specific student who's looking at this topic. And so I'll uh, use this as an example. Okay, I'll use that as an example. And click search. Okay. And then it'll give 10,402 <laughs> results on the online database. Now, what you can do to narrow it down is you can narrow the publication uh, date from 1935 to 2020, you can shove it all the way to here. So it's only 2020 or maybe within the last four years. So I'll update to that. What you can also do is to uh, narrow what kind of uh, source types you only wanna look at. Like maybe it's only scholarly journals only, or if I wanna do magazines only, uh, or newspapers only, uh, okay. Uh, you can also do the publication, not publication, the language. So if you only want to look at English, so you can click only English. Okay. And let's say you only want to do um, magazines, only magazines. It's, it's up to you right now. It's doing everything else. So What's cool about the online database is besides here, where you can look, click on what you want to look at. Let's say, let's look at this. Okay. So what's cool about the online database is that you have, hold on, is that you have uh, not only access to the full text. So if you click here, full text, I usually put in a separate tab. You can read the entire, sorry, it got blocked. You can read the entire text. So here, here's the entire text. Okay. Which you can save, download, uh, what have you. But what's also really cool about this online database is if you look over here, 
you can save this onto your Google Drive. If you have a Google Drive account, uh, Google, uh, like a Gmail account, you can email this to yourself. But what's really, really important is this button where if you see this pop up where it says site, click site, it can give you the citation format. Now we're doing MLA style, so scroll down. And here you see MLA style right here. So this is the works cited format in MLA style for this article. All you need to do is highlight the whole thing. Okay. Copy and open up. I'm opening up Google Docs right now. Or you can just put it in your whatever your web um, um, Word, Word document happens to be, your word processing document. Okay, paste. Okay, and yes, I would have to fix this up a little bit, but this is the, okay, maybe move this over a little bit. Rulers are good. We're excited. Put that centered. Centered. Put this all. Oopsie. Hold on. Control A. Control. No, that's not right. Control A. And let's see. Format. Line spacing. Double. Okay. And so that is the correct format Matt, for works cited for this article here, online database. Okay. Now, once you have that, if you just highlight this to make that yellow, then you'd know that Anna Adema is the in-text citation for the source. So according to Anna Adema, quote, 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 quote. And that is the in-text citation for that works cited source. Okay. Or you can go quote, 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 and edema. Okay. Okay. So this is the reason that in uh, works finding works cited using online databases is so useful for you because this site uh, button over here just gives you so much information and you don't have to try to figure out how to do it on your own. And it is correct. It's just a matter of of uh, getting, just doing this catch, cuts out so much of your time. And in writing research uh, essays, anything that is a time saver is awesome. So as I said, go use online databases. Go use online databases, okay? So that's all it is and that's it, okay? Um, have a good one.